can smell the burning. That's not good at all. That's bad, actually. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to Ingredient Wars. I'm your host, Cassie, and each of these gift bags has a different ingredient in it, ranging from my choice all the way to baby food. Let's play. So I have to pick which ingredient I want, and then we're going to eliminate three. I'm going to pick bag number three. I'm going to eliminate number two. The ingredient was ice cream. Next, I'm going to eliminate bag number 13. Brownies. And finally, I'm going to eliminate bag number 19. Milkshake. Those weren't bad ones to eliminate, but which ingredient did I actually end up with? Cereal. That's not bad, that's not a bad one. Next, I'm going to set aside bag number 20. And I'm going to eliminate bag number eight, mint. I'm also going to eliminate bag number six. It's empty. Ah, oh, I eliminated my choice. And lastly, I'm going to eliminate bag number 17. Okay, ketchup. Okay, we eliminated one bad ingredient. Now it's time to find out which ingredient I selected. Relish. Relish. Next, I'm going to set aside bag number four, and I'm going to eliminate bag number one. Omelet. Bag number 10. Cinnamon roll. Sad day, cinnamon rolls are my favorite. Number 16. Cake. For my third ingredient that I set aside, it is going to be waffle. I got waffle. The next bag I'm going to set aside is bag number 12. And I'm going to eliminate bag number five, popcorn. The next bag that I'm going to eliminate is bag number 11, smoothie. And the last bag of this round that I'm going to eliminate is bag number nine. I still haven't seen baby food yet. Oh, whoa, <laughs> baby food. Thank God I got rid of baby food. The bag I selected for my fourth ingredient, butterscotch. The last bag that I'm going to set aside is bag number 18. And I'm going to eliminate these three bags right here. 14, seven, and 15. Fruit roll up. Barbecue sauce. And lastly, chips. Yes. So I've gotten rid of all of the ingredients that I set aside, but now it's time to find out what my fifth and final ingredient is. Pie. These are my five ingredients. Pie, butterscotch, cereal, relish, waffle. We've got some interesting ingredients here. Let's go make something. Okay, so we're back from the store and I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to be making. A waffle butterscotch pie with a cereal topping and a fruit relish. But first, last week my strawberry salsa s'more stuffed donut got a thumbs up from the mass judge, meaning that this week I get to spin the wheel of advantages. So let's go do that. Let's see what I get. Thirty extra minutes. This week's advantage is 30 minutes of extra time, which is extremely helpful because last week, we cut the time in half for the remainder of the season. So, with two hours and 30 minutes on the clock, let's get started. I've toasted two waffles and I'm just gonna crumble that into a bowl. So we've got some waffle crumbles. I'm gonna pour about half of this butter in. I don't like that. Like, I'm a little freaked out. Can we get like a close up of the settlement here? Like, what is that and why? We're gonna add in a tablespoon of maple syrup and then a teaspoon of apple pie spice. So now I'm just gonna mix this all together. Actually, I kinda wanna eat it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to. That was a lot of butter. <laughs> now I'm going to spread this out over this baking sheet just like this. Beautiful. Oh! Stick those waffles in the oven. And you guys, guess what is ready now? My pre-baked pie crust. <laughs> what happened? Why did it roll up? So now I need to peel this lime. So what I'm going to do, this is a, oh, 
Did I say lime? It's a kiwi. I know my fruits. So I was gonna try to peel it off because sometimes you can do that, but this one is not working with me. I hate the way I'm doing this. I know I'm doing this incredibly wrong. I just don't know how else to do it. I have an idea. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Ah! Dude, it really hurt. Ow, because it's a citrusy fruit, I think. <laughs> so as to not contaminate anything, get any chunks of flesh in there. That's not an ingredient today. Here I have pear halves. So what I'm going to do right now is just, I'm gonna take out a couple pears. I feel like that's enough pears, but we'll see. So I'm gonna take this stuff, pour it out onto this cutting sheet, cutting board. So I'm just cutting up the pears. I learned today that I am not invincible, although I think I am sometimes. My intention here is to make a, like a spiced pear relish. I looked up the definition of the word relish and it means anything that you add to something bland to make it more flavorful. So guess what? Relish could be anything, anything I want it to be. So I'm making like an apple pie relish with pears. I'm gonna go ahead and add those back to the bowl. Now, we're gonna add in about a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna add in, honestly, I put two cups of water in here, but I'm gonna put one cup, maybe even less. I'm gonna add in some lemon juice. Mixing it all together. The lemon water that I just added into this fruit mixture is to help keep the fruit from browning, so I'm going to set that aside for now, and then later I'm going to add it into my pie. The waffles are like freaking burning. I can smell the burning. That's not good. And I'm gonna try to salvage that really quickly because I'm now overwhelmed. I'm gonna scoop these waffles into my pie crust and we're just gonna kind of start the layering process. I'm a little nervous about them being burnt. We don't have time to think, we just do. That's not good at all. That's bad, actually. Moving on. So now it's time to make the butterscotch. So I'm going to add in a cup of brown sugar, about four tablespoons of heavy cream, and about three tablespoons of butter. We're basically mixing all this together until it all becomes one cohesive unit. So everything is nice and melted together. So I'm going to let that come to a nice rolling simmer or boil, which is gonna take about five minutes. Okay, so we've got everything to a nice rolling boil. We love that. Taking it off the heat entirely. We're gonna take our milk, two cups of milk. We're going to just ever so slowly whisk this. This feels like a bad idea. This feels like a very bad idea. Because when you add cold milk into things like this, it kind of, makes it harden. So I'm just kind of very slowly whisking this all together. Now what we have is a butterscotch milk. I'm gonna push this aside for a second. So now in every custard, you've got a little bit of an egg base. We got like an egg yolk base usually. So we gotta separate some eggs. This is my piggy tool. We're gonna just slurp it up, slurp it up. Come on. See, and oh! Last egg. Oh. What a gorgeous one. Beautiful, that's the only one that was a pure egg yolk out of all of those. We're gonna add in our reserved tablespoon of milk, add a teaspoon of vanilla, and about six half tablespoons of cornstarch. We're gonna whisk that all together. So what I do is I like to add a little bit of this milk mixture to the egg mixture and just whisk that together just to warm the eggs up because what I've learned is if you add cold eggs to a hot mixture, you're gonna get some scrambled eggs. Okay, so now that I've got a little bit more of a warmer egg mixture, I'm going to pour that in with my milk mixture. And we're gonna whisk all that together over medium heat until it's nice and thick. While I'm letting that thicken up, I'm just going to pour this lemon water through, strain out those fruits. And I'm just gonna add a few dashes of this apple pie spice. So now we have our pear pie filling with some kiwi. Oh, it smells so good. So like I said, we're just kind of layering this all together. There goes the relish. Beautiful. Okay, and we're gonna set that back aside. And we'll come back to that later. Wow, I think this is probably one of the best custards I've ever made. Let's go ahead and pour that over top my pie crust now. But we're not done yet. We have one more step before we put this in the oven. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our egg whites now. Just gonna go ahead and 
Mix that until we get some soft peaks. So we have soft peaks right now. We're gonna go ahead and add in our sugar. Now we're mixing this until we get stiff peaks. Yes, do you see that? That is a stiff peak. And you know how you can tell? You hold it upside down over your dang head. So now is the fun part. We're just going to dollop on my egg whites and then just kind of smear it all over. I really want this to be a little bit more jagged though because I like the way it looks when it kind of gives like a baked Alaska look. Yeah, it's like that. And finally, I'm just putting some crushed up cinnamon toast crunch on here because I think it looks pretty and also because I have to. Now we're gonna put that in the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, you guys, ta-da! Here is my cereal topped butterscotch pie layered with a fruit relish and underneath that, some nice baked waffles. I feel like we're gonna have to cut into it. Bottoms up. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That's a 10 out of 10 for me, but let's see what the masked judge has to say. Well, it looks like this week the masked judge gave me a thumbs up on my pie creation. So that means that next week I will be spinning the wheel of advantages once again. You guys, we're back on that winning streak. And as always, I so, so, so enjoyed making this video for y'all. And if you guys enjoyed it, I would love it if you guys could hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye.